this session i'll discuss the doubts from may june 2022 paper in the first uh, question first doubt not the first question it's question 10 uh, man is uh, a mass is lifted from a wrist to the ground uh, on the ground to y and there is no air resistance P is an increase in gravitational potential energy and Q is a kinetic energy of mass at Y. So when kinetic energy of a mass at Y, what does it mean? It means it is still moving. Because otherwise the kinetic, or it can have zero kinetic energy at that point, but they mention the potential energy at this point is equals to P and the kinetic energy at this point is equals to Q. So whenever a work is done to move an object, so work done will be equals to potential plus kinetic energy. Why here the work done is potential plus kinetic energy because this object is being lifted and it is also moving. The, so which expression is equal to mechanical work done? Because when we did the work here, we, we move this object and we lift the object or we are lifting this object. That's why it should be a sum of the potential plus kinetic. So P plus Q. In question 31, the diagram one in a circuit shows an AC power supply connected to four diodes. As you can see, four diodes are there. Uh, which graph shows a voltage? So because it's an AC supply, so first we'll check. First, this one is positive and negative. So conventional current will move from here. Now from this point, this will block because it will not allow. Then the current will move from here. Then it will go through R and then it will return back. So what is the direction of the motion? The direction of a motion is uh, from top to bottom, like moving through the R. And because it's an AC supply, so like this cycle is there first, when it is like top side is positive, bottom is negative. So the current increase, then the current decrease. So what will the output through R? The current will increase and the current will decrease. This is plus and minus, like when the terminals. But then what will happen? Because it's an AC supply, so the direction, uh, the polarity of the supply will change. Then bottom will be positive and top will be negative. And the current start to flow. So how the current will move? It will move from here. Then it will return back. But you see the direction of the flow is again from top to bottom. So when uh, top side is negative and the bottom is positive. What happened? The direction of the current does not change. When top is uh, negative and bottom is positive, direction of the current does not change for through R. Again, it is from top to bottom. So that's why there will be uh, a cur like increase and then the, the current increase, then the current decrease, but in the same way. Then if we change the terminal again, like positive and negative. So same way when positive and negative, the diode will allow top to bottom. Then when it is negative and positive, like negative up and positive down, again, the diode will allow the current from top to bottom. So the current through a diode, like the current which diode allow is always in one direction. And the value of a current is decreasing, increasing and decreasing. That's why option B is the right answer. The graph shows uh, the measured count rate of a radiation from a source which containing a radioactive isotope. The detector is there in a lab with no shielding from background. So there are background radiation. And how we identify how many background radiations are there? When the radiation become constant means these are the background radiations. So why is representing a background radiation? So we have the formula that the source, the total radiations which a detector record is equals to source plus background. So the total radiation like TR is equals to source plus background. The total radiation is equals to X, as you can see here, X. So total radiation is X, background, a source radiation we don't know and how many are background, that is Y. So we can say the source radiations are equals to X minus Y is equals to the source radiation. That is 
uh, in terms of uh, X and Y, we got the source radiation because it's, the total reading is X. So total reading is a sum of source plus background. And the background radiations are Y. So source radiation will be X minus Y. Then what will be the reading after half-life? After one half-life, the source radiation will become half. The source radiation will be X minus Y by 2. That is source radiation. But detector will record both source plus background. So what will the total reading? Because the question is, what is the measured count rate after one half-life? So what is the total reading on the detector? The total reading of, on the detector is source plus background. So source radiation will become X minus Y by 2. And the background radiation are Y. Now we simplify this. We take 2 as an LCM. So it will be 2Y here because 2 is an LCM. So X minus Y plus 2Y by 2. So it will become X plus Y by 2. So total readings will be X plus Y by 2. That's why D is the right answer. So idea is that, that first we work out how many source radiations are there. As we have the total reading in the beginning, which is X and the background reading are Y. So source radiation will be X minus Y. Then after half-life, the source radiation will be half, which will be X minus Y by 2. But we don't need source radiation. The question is, what is the count rate? Means the total reading. The total reading is source plus background. So we substitute the value of the source after half-life and the background still Y. So when we simplify, it will give us X plus Y by 2. A measuring cylinder with a cross-sectional area is there, 4 centimeters square, and contain that's a volume is there in area. The pressure of a liquid on the base is 880 Pascal. What is the density? So pressure exerted by the liquid equal density, gravity, and depth. Uh, the pressure is given 880, eight, sorry, 8,800, not 880. And uh, density, we don't know, gravity 9.8, or you can take as 10, as it, it is from 2022 paper. But how to get the height? We have the formula that 